so yeah. That's it. My music's still playing. Hold on, let me turn it off. All right, y'all, I had to turn my music off. I was still playing in my headphones. Woo! What up, y'all? Good morning. All right, so look, Ray. Let me show y'all something. Let me see. I'm about to show you. There's going to be some serious stuff going on. I don't nobody want to pay attention to. Y'all see this? And I'm showing you because you can't really see him. I don't want to expose him. But I want to expose what is happening. Okay. So I come out here and I run the stairs. Maybe at least every other day. Um, I can't say I'm as consistent as daily or whatever. But one thing I haven't notice especially maybe because it is summer and it's the nice weather or whatever it was hot y'all it's real hot in the chicago area but um every single time i come out there's a homeless person sleeping somewhere in the area um yesterday when i got here um there was someone sleeping on the bench that is um right here but where I'm standing now, um, I pull up today, and that person that I just showed the rest of you is laying there sleeping. And um, there's just always someone, hey, little kitty, kitty. Hey. <laughs> um, no, I don't like cats. I'm a dog person. But um, no, I wasn't being chased. Not at all. But um, so. Like, even today, when I pulled up, and I did, I see this person sleeping, right? And, of course, he's right by my stairs. So, I did. I had to sit there for a second. I'm like, Lord, do I still run my stairs? Right? <laughs> but, um, if any of y'all know anything about me, I'm a daredevil. And I'm not afraid of nothing or nobody because I know who covers me. Um, so, that, that, I wasn't, you know, um, afraid. But I was like... Man, I don't necessarily want to wake him up, right? Maybe you need to get woken up by somebody with some activity. So, I did. I decided to still run my stairs. And I'm here. And I'm running. And I'm realizing, like, my momentum. And I'm steadily looking over. And, of course, my mind, when I see people that are in need or in an environment that they may feel stuck, right? Um, I always think about those times where I was weak. In my own and my own flesh and was going through different things and yes I go through things even right now as we speak that I don't exactly speak on um, or talk about because I'm still going through it right but I do trust and believe that God will bring me out of it and once he brings me out of it of course then that's my testimony and then you know we share our testimony but I think about the times that I wasn't sleeping on park benches but I was sleeping in my car because I was homeless because I had lost everything um some by choice and some by force however I was still able and had the strength to pick myself up and keep it moving and regroup and get back in the swing of things so I'm trying to tell somebody right now that you might be sleeping right next to some activity that could change your life right so you might have fallen asleep somewhere because you felt hopeless you felt like you didn't have any other choice and this might be your only resolution at the time but however if you wake up on time you might just encounter somebody or something or jump into the movement of something 
that can change your life, right? But the thing is, you have to make the decision that you ain't going to stay sleeping while the activity is going on around you. Because you just never know what's going on around you. Because see, right, the stairs is right next to and And I'm using the stairs because that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing, y'all. But there's a person that obviously felt helpless enough that they would have found any crack or crevice to just lay down in. And I don't know about you, but I done found plenty of those cracking crevices in the past because they seemed easier to deal with than actually trying to find the momentum that could have got me out of the situation altogether. So I don't know who you are. I don't know who that is. Yesterday, the person that was um, sleeping on the park bench, I rebuke you because we're not in that. Watch the video. We're in a whole different type of video, bro. Get it together. You might be the person that needs to realize that you're still stuck in some toxic behavior that you need to get yourself out of. And maybe somebody brought you to this video so that you can get your mind out of that toxicity because you cannot progress as long as you are living in the recession of your mind. Yes, you cannot progress as long as you are constantly holding yourself back to a past especially someone else's past move along that's over 10 years ago we don't progress since then so while you still holding on to what i did or did not do in the past we don't progress we don't moved on we done got stronger and you should too because if you still looking at something that somebody else done a long long time ago and you have not progressed yourself hey that's not good so the whole thing is you just never know how y'all doing you just never know who might have the momentum around you to get you out of the situation that you continue to just dwell in i was listening to eric thomas this morning and he was talking about how the how the 200 years ago things were so different the opportunities that we have today are not the same opportunities that our ancestors had take advantage of the opportunities that's available to you take advantage of the situations that are available to you take advantage of the resources there are so many resources available utilize them humble yourself humble yourself before you submit to something toxic humble yourself you never know who's around you with the energy that can change your life you never know it can be packaged in a whole different way and a whole different perspective that you have ever thought so thank you for cleaning that up <laughs> it wasn't here yesterday i promise you when i ran the stairs yesterday it wasn't here i was like somebody did a whole lot of drinking but didn't <laughs> See, like even that, you can help by, but you see something, just do it. This is your environment. This is this is where we dwell. This is our atmosphere. Keep we it clean. To make it nice. We got the water over there. Right. And we appreciate it. Do our part. Stop waiting for somebody else to come do it. But humble yourself. Humble yourself. You never know what is going on because honestly, I see this person and I'm thinking to myself, that could have been me. There's no reason why it shouldn't have been me. It could have been you. There's no reason why. It couldn't have been you. It shouldn't have been you. How you doing? How you doing? Y'all pussing a stroll? I thought you had a baby in it. <laughs> Change your perspective. Stop just settling for any crack or crevice to fall up in because it seems like your last hope. Because there's so many other opportunities jump into the movement that's going on around you there's so much going on around you jump into the movement of it eat the fish spit out the bones just don't allow yourself to be the bones real talk okay i got a few more stairs to run see look i don't know why they got a stroller they ain't no baby <laughs> but look man look it's a beautiful day it's the first day new day or more opportunities only if you take advantage of it so do not allow yourself to fall into that place where you just settle for anything and give up when there's so much beauty around you there's so much beauty inside of you everybody with a gift 
figure out what your gift is. But only you can discover it. I can't discover it for you. Stop standing these prophecy lines trying to discover it. But whatever your gift is, it's going to allow you to be strong enough not to fall for just anything. All right. I got to finish my workout. I have things to do today. God bless. Nicole B. Jones. Um, I did recently change my name on social media. It's Nicole underscore B. Marie. Only because I finally found a name that can stretch across all my social medias. But each one of my social media don't have to be something different. Okay? So look. Just be the light that you need. Just don't fall for anything. And pray for this brother over here. I don't, I don't know his name. Yesterday it was a woman. It looked like a man at first, but as I ran up and down the stairs, I realized it was a woman. And my heart ached, and I don't know her name, but I did. I started praying for her. The more I ran, the more I was thinking about her. I was praying for her. This morning she wasn't here. It was somebody else. And, man, you know, when we see homeless people, don't look down on them because you don't know what it took for them to get there, and you don't know what steps you might be walking in as well. None of us is excluded from this type of life. The only thing that separates us from them is the fact that we keep moving and don't give up, okay? You cannot give up. Don't give up on yourself. If you give up on everything else, don't give up. Some things we need to give up, like pornography. Yes, bro, whoever. Love first and bruh. Give up on it. It's over, bro. It's over. It's been over 10 years now. Just because it's new to you, it's over. We are so greater. So it's over. It's over. Ain't no going back. Ain't no coming back. Don't inbox me later saying where you been. I've been over here in movement. Catch up. All right. Love y'all. God bless. Have a beautiful day.